Cardinal Snapstream is a fully integrated NTEP legal for trade wireless scale system for commercial applications. It's completely proprietary to Cardinal Scale and offers a number of competitive advantages for new or pre-existing scale installations. In brief, Snapstream allows a scale to send weight data wirelessly to an indicator up to one mile line of sight and the indicator in turn to send that data wirelessly to a host of peripheral equipment such as remote displays, printers, PCs, and networks. It is compatible with any 200 series digital weight indicator. A few of the benefits of Snapstream include eliminating the need to bury costly home run cable as well as the ability to diagnose load cells directly from the indicator. In this video we will demonstrate the installation and setup of the Snapstream system. For this example installation we are using a Snap 8 scale box that is capable of connecting up to eight load cells. Please note that most Snap scale boxes are set up in this manner. Models differ according to the number of load cells that each is capable of utilizing. Begin by releasing the two clamps on the exterior of the Snap scale box and opening its lid. Loosen the gland connectors on the side of the scale box to allow each load cell cable to be easily inserted. Insert the cables from each load cell through the gland connectors and into the enclosure. The cardinal color coding used for terminal connections in a circuit board are red for positive excitation, green for positive signal, white for negative signal, and black for negative excitation. To terminate a wire, press down on the release bar for the terminal, insert the wire into the terminal opening, and then allow the release bar to return to its original position, locking the wire into place. Repeat the process as necessary for every load cell. The snap scale box should still be open, so begin by releasing the two clamps on the exterior of the snap RF box and opening its lid. An ample length of conductor cable is provided with every snap scale box assembly to connect the scale box to the RF box with its own special gland connector. Remove no more than three inches of the outer insulation jacket of the cable. Strip approximately 3 16 inch of insulation from each of the four individual wires and shield of each cable. Twist each wire and connect each of them to the terminal block, referring to the labels on the circuit board for terminal connections. Use this cable to connect the corresponding terminal blocks in the RF box, one to one, two to two, and so on. Connect the printed circuit boards, or PCBs, appropriately and make sure that the address jumpers are correct on the circuit boards. The following table shows correct jumper configuration. Connect load cells 1 through 4 to their respective PCBs with no more than 4 per PCB. Connect the provided antenna to the RF box. Plug the AC power cord to a nearby wall outlet and check the analog error LEDs on the scale PCBs to make sure the connections are correct and that the load cells are functioning normally. To set up the Snap 8, press the Cal button until the AD prompt appears on screen and then press Enter. From here, several variables may be modified based on your system's requirements. The Serial Select prompt is asking what kind of Snap system you are using Enter 4 for SNAP 4. This is referring to the capacity of the PCBs as the cards for the SNAP 4, 8, 12, 16, and 4x4 can hold four load cells each. The cells field is requesting the number of load cells connected to the system and can number anywhere from 1 to 16. The address 1 field is requesting for the address of the radio for the SNAP 8 with the jumpers in the scale 1 position. The indicator will divide the number of load cells by four and ask for that many addresses. So 12 load cells will have three addresses. The address inside the RF box needs to be entered at both prompts. The 205 and 210 indicators may only have one scale connected. After these fields are set, the indicator screen will show that it is busy and then display paired. If the indicator failed to find the snap unit, it will return to the prompt that had failed. To access the setup menu on a 225 snap, hold the shift key while pressing the red square in the middle of the red navigation arrows. Select calibration and then setup. 
and then enter the number of scales connected to your system. Go to the next menu and enter Setup Scale 1. From here, change the type to Snap 4. Proceed to the next menu and change the load cells to 8 and enter the radio's identification address for address 1. and address to. Finally, enter the pair scale function and wait for the indicator display to show that the RF unit was successfully paired. Once the units are paired, you may activate the Smart Cal operation on the indicator for either type of snap units and then calibrate the scale accordingly. If the parameters are correct, enter test load weight and press enter. Follow the directions for unloading the scale and loading each load cell. The Snapstream system performs the analog to digital weight conversion for each load cell and transmits the data wirelessly to any digital weight indicator, scoreboard, or local remote that Cardinal has to offer. Snapstream combines the latest in legal for trade wireless weighing technology with improved load cell diagnostics. Customers can potentially save thousands of dollars in installation costs by using a SnapStream wireless system. For questions about SnapStream setup, please contact Cardinal Technical Support at 866-254-8261 or tech at cardnet.com. Find out more about Cardinal SnapStream online at www.cardinalscale.com. Thank you.